Hey guys, this is Yasin. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to get a job as a foreigner in South Korea. There are two types of people. People who are living in Korea and looking for a job and people who are outside of Korea and looking for a job. Okay, in this video, I'll explain everything from A to Z that you can get a job in South Korea. And I've been working in Korea since 2009 in different types of companies and in this video I'm going to explain everything and there are different types of questions actually that people are keep asking me and emailing me and messaging me that please how can I come to Korea to get a job and people who are in Korea and they're still looking for a job okay in this video I will answer all the questions and also please before I start I just request to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel that you can watch my new videos and if you have any specific question about like leaving or starting a business or how to invest in Korea, please just comment below. I will definitely answer all your questions. And let's jump into the video. Hey guys, in this video, you will know everything about how to come to Korea to get a job. If you're already in Korea as well, this video is gonna help you actually to get a job. Okay. The first question, and that is, I have no skill, no degree, and cannot speak Korean language. Is there any chance that I can get a job in Korea? Yes, there is. You can come to Korea to get a job, but it depends on your country, actually. If you can get a visa easily, like maybe without any invitation or any document from Korea, if you can get a visa, just go apply for a visa, get the visa and come to Korea. For example, people from Indonesia, from India, from Pakistan, from Bangladesh, they need documents to come to Korea. Okay, if you have no degree, no skill, and you cannot speak Korean language, apply for Korean language courses. Most universities in Korea, they are offering Korean language courses. You can apply for six months Korean language courses. The tuition fees may be around $2,000. Then you can come here. The universities will send you all the required documents to apply for the visa. Then you go to the embassy. Maybe the visa fee is also 60 US dollar. You can get the visa. Then you can come to Korea. You can study Korean language for six months. After six months, you can apply for the jobs. There are different types of jobs. And also, during six months, you can learn about the culture, the language. You will know about everything about the environment, how to survive, how to live, what kind of job can you just find for yourself. So six months is a golden opportunity actually that you can discover Korea. So I highly recommend you that you should come through Korean language courses and you can apply for D4 visa. Okay, the second question and that is, hello, I'm in India and I want to go to Korea to work. How can I get a job? Okay, this is a general question. So I don't know actually that uh, do you have any skill, Did you, do you have a PhD or you have a master degree? Okay, generally look at yourself. What do you have to offer to Korean companies? If you have uh, a skill maybe, if you know some high income skill, that's a different case. If you are good at, for example, graphic design uh, or if you're good at web designing, if you're good at copywriting, it depends, all are different. Look at yourself. What are you good at? If you are good at, for example, graphic designing, so contact the companies that they are hiring graphic designers. Contact them directly to their HR department or make a phone call. Also send them your CV or resume. So, and also there are several websites that I'm gonna explain later. Just hold on for a second, guys. And the, the third question is that, uh, I am an IT engineer. How can I apply for the job? Yes, you're an IT engineer. Upload your CV or resume. So Korean CV and resume is a little different. So this is the Korean resume and or CV. You can just explain all about yourself in detail. So English is a little different. This is English type and this is Korean type. So if you can write Korean or English, it doesn't matter actually. Koreans, they know that foreigners are writing their CVs like this. Okay. You can upload your CV there with your contact and also your email. So check your email off and they will contact you. And the fourth question, how can I get a Korean visa? Okay, there are some countries that it's easy for them to apply for Korean visa. For some countries that is a little difficult for them. You need some documents from Korea. Okay, you apply for the job. Then when you are accepted, the company will send you all the required documents. Then you can take the documents and go to the embassy. Embassy will give you a visa maybe within two weeks. 
then you can buy a ticket then you can come to Korea then your company will take care of you and you can contact directly all about the required documents from the company the company will send all the required documents guys okay so it's easy and if you're applying for a C visa C visa is like tourist visa that's a different case maybe you don't need uh, some documents you can apply then you can come it depends on the countries Korean embassies are a little taking serious when you're applying for a visa and there are many countries actually that they don't need a visa if you're coming for a short term like maybe 20 days 30 days but some countries you need a visa for example for Turkish people you don't need to currently you don't need a visa when you're traveling to Korea just for maybe as a tourist but if you're coming to Korea like maybe to work or to study you need a visa okay and the fifth question is that what are the most common jobs offered to foreigners in Korea okay the common jobs I can say that okay for native English speakers I can say that teaching English is very common there are many people from America from Australia from Canada from South Africa that they are coming to Korea to teach English and also the payment is uh, for English teachers are starting from three thousand dollar up to four thousand something plus housing and some other uh, maybe benefits and maybe two weeks like vacation and there are some other health insurance these are added also and also there are IT maybe uh, IT jobs and there are graphic designing and there are some CNC engineers are highly in demand in South Korea and I can say that their language uh, teachers like maybe Japanese Spanish Russian so these teachers are also required in Korea okay so yeah these are like engineers are also really in high demand in Korea if you're an engineer if you're an IT engineer or a graphic designer or you're a CNC engineer um, if you're a researcher social economic okay it doesn't matter if you're a good researcher research centers in Korea are also hiring foreigners actually to do the job for them and there are many universities as well if you have a master's degree or if you're a bachelor degree and you want to come to Korea to do a research so you can contact university professors professors are, are hiring actually uh, foreigners to come to work with them and they will also support you maybe the payment is not really good but uh, of course you can study your PhD or master's there as well maybe they are paying one thousand dollar just your expenses then you can just uh, when you finish the study period then you can apply for the companies for the jobs in the companies then you can get paid well okay and the next question is then that is number six is it easy to get a job in Korea as a foreigner mm, I think it's easy I was working at LG electronics like one year or something then I was working in another company and I was also working at the beginning maybe 12 years ago I was working at KBS TV and also there are some other companies and I didn't work just I was teaching English in a couple of English academies long time ago but recently also I was working somewhere in Daejeon it's easy to get a job in Korea actually but it's difficult to maintain the job in Korea because there are many foreigners actually that they are not following Korean rules in Korea culture is different so you should learn the culture when you enter Korean companies because Korean bosses and Korean companies are kind of conservative and in here they are working a lot maybe some when I was working at the LG company in 2012 uh, sometimes I was working until 11 p.m. yeah from 9 from 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. until 11 p.m. so I was kind of in a big problem that time then I left only because of the job condition of course they were paying well at that time but you know I didn't like that kind of job and I was single at the time I didn't have a lot of expenses but I didn't know that why I'm working but that was really good I learned a lot and uh, okay the next question is that um, okay someone asked me that I'm in Korea and just graduated how can I get a job if you don't know let me tell you move to Seoul and uh, look for international trading companies if you don't know Korean language but if you know Korean language there are different types of jobs and you can apply for those kind of jobs then you can get a job it's not difficult if you're in Korea okay but one thing factory jobs are always available 24 7 if you just make a phone call they will directly ask you hey come here work with me work with me because Korean factories are 
still looking for foreign employees actually to work with them. During coronavirus, so foreigners, they couldn't come to Korea and now foreign employees are in high demand. Korean companies are looking for foreign employees actually for the labor job, blue collar jobs, not white collar job. White collar job is also in high demand actually, like for marketing, maybe international trade companies are looking for foreign employees. If you're good at Korean language and you're good at English, okay, you have a big chance in Korea to get a job and to be paid well. And the next question and that is, how can I apply for the job? Okay, this is very interesting. Let me tell you that there are common ways, actually, like websites. I can say that, okay, jobkorea.co.kr. Okay, this website, you can upload your CV or resume. Then companies will contact you. And the next one is saraminhr .co.kr and this is also another website that you can apply for the job in Korea and you can check you should check your email more often they will contact you and the next is LinkedIn is very common also if you know high income skills if you're good at some specific skill okay you open an account at LinkedIn companies will contact you to work for them and they will also ask you send you email okay these three are very common in Korea use these three websites so they will contact you and also guys, if you have specific questions that I didn't answer in this uh, video, so please comment below, I will definitely answer you. And uh, also don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos about opportunities in Korea, investing in stocks or starting businesses. And I will definitely answer all your questions and also you will be notified. Also click the like button, also the notification bell, then you will know everything. Okay guys? Thanks and have a good day.